Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, I would like to show you how to create user-defined variables in the TRIO software. While there are a number of variables predefined in TRIOS, the user may want to define custom scalar sample properties and or create variables defined by a customized equation. Doing so greatly expands advanced analysis capabilities in TRIOS and allows the user to perform custom analysis for reports all within the TRIOS workflow. To add a custom scalar property in a new experiment, first navigate to the experiment window in TRIOS. Next, click on the sample tab where sample name, operator, project, and notes are listed. Here there is a drop down menu for sample properties. Clicking this will bring up a table for adding the custom scalar properties. Here for this example, I can add a scalar called volume fraction and give it a value of 0.1. This value will be saved in the Vitrios results file after the experiment is performed. Now I will show you how to create a user variable with which the scalar value or any other pre-existing variable can be used for calculating a variable from a user-defined equation. After an experiment is conducted and a results file is obtained, I can open up the results file within TRIOS. After opening up a results file, navigate to the spreadsheet view of the data. At the top of the screen, there is a format tab. After clicking here, a user-defined icon can be seen. Clicking this will bring up a view window at the bottom of the screen for user-defined variables. A new variable can be added by double-clicking the relevant location, thus bringing up the user variable wizard. Clicking the More button to expose all parameters, we will find that for a new variable, there are entries to input the name, the units, and the defining equation. From the list of predefined variables, user-defined scalars, and functions and constants, the user can build a unique equation for their individual analysis needs. Here, I build a simple function to subtract the initial gap from the current gap but the functionality allows for much richer functions. The user can then go to the plot view and select plot variables. By clicking the show user defined variables, the user defined variables list will be enumerated and the user can plot these. In this tech tip, we have learned how to create custom scalar properties and user-defined variables in the TRIO software. Please stay tuned for more helpful tech tips, and thank you for your interest.